Hey there, Danny K coming to you from Danny K Gym and Wellness. Today's tip actually comes to you from a couple of guys from the gym. Um, and they want to know, like, are they working out too much? Um, and it's kind of kind of refreshing to actually have a guy, you know, actually asking, are you am I working out too much? Because he wants to work out <coughs> sorry, efficiently and not waste so much damn time. You see it all the time with guys in the gym, you know, big burly guys or whatever, they think that they have to work out two, three hours, you know, to get and keep that size that they're working on. And that is completely false. If you are working 110%, 150% on a particular muscle group, chest, back, shoulders, buys, tries, legs, whatever it is, um, or, you know, in some cases a grouping like buys and tries or, you know, a chest and back kind of thing or something, if you're giving it your all, and uh, there's no way in hell that you can give your all 150% for two or three hours, lifting with that much intensity for two or three hours. So um, basically, yeah, if you're spending two or three hours in the gym, you're working too hard, you're spending too much time in the gym, you don't have to spend that much time. That Some people like doing that. Maybe they do like a complete hour of um you know, weight training, and then they do a complete hour of cardio just because they like doing the long, you know, kind of slow paced cardio or whatever. And that's fine. If you have the time, you know, that's fine. But if you're spending two hours on your biceps and triceps, especially, you know, mainly men I'm talking to, you know, this way too much, like you only have three triceps and only so many angles until you start repeating those angles. And you only have two bicep muscles. Again, the same thing. So many angles unless you start repeating the same angles. So, you know, why repeat the same angles to think you're getting a better workout? You're tearing that muscle down. You're fatiguing your body out. You're spending two hours on your biceps and triceps. Same thing with your chest. You know, there's only so many angles that you can do. But, you know, guys insist on doing, some guys you know, insist on doing, you know, flat press bar, flat press dumbbell, and flat press cable or, or whatever, you know, and then they go through the routine of the the bar for incline, the, bar, the dumbbell for incline, and the cable for incline. Why? Why are you doing that? You know, if you're giving, and I'm telling you this, if you're giving your 150% on the bar for an incline or flat or decline or whatever, you're not going to have it to give for the dumbbells and for the cables. So, you know, and, and plus, the, the harder you work like that, the more you're fatiguing your body out, you're fatiguing yourself out, you're not giving through the other exercises and for the next two hours, you're not giving yourself, you know, you're not, you're not putting 150% or 110% into that workout. Um, you know, so basically, you should be able to get, I don't care who you are, a, a guy building, um, you know, a female building, a guy trying to lose weight, a female trying to lose weight, a kid, whatever. If you're putting more than an hour in, you're working too hard, you're working too long, you don't have to do that. And like I said, if you're doing weights and then you want to do and you enjoy doing a longer, slow-paced cardio, that's, that's a different story. I'm talking about the people that think that they have to lift weights for two hours in order to get their size or their, you know, leanness or their, whatever their, you know, whatever their goal is. I'm telling you, if you're working two hours on weights, you're spending too much time, you're overtraining, and you're not seeing the potential of the results that you want to see because you're overtraining. So my advice is, you know, back it down. You know, if you have that much to give, to again like a like a, a flat press if you're doing a flat press three or four sets on the bar three or four sets on the dumbbells three or four sets on the on the cables as just in flat presses i'm not talking about flies or inclines or declines i'm talking if that's your routine for just a flat press and then you repeat that process for incline bar dumbbell cable and then you repeat that process for dumb uh for decline bar dumbbell cable if you gave your 110% into just the dumbbells and then next week give your 110% into the, the bar and mix it up, you will see better, quicker, faster results than frying yourself out like that. Because by the time you get to those other exercises, either one, 
you didn't give your all to the bar because you still have something to give on the on the, the dumbbells and the cables or you know two you know well I guess not lifting heavy enough is still not giving it your all so think about that the next time if you're giving 110 150 percent in you know a press or you know your, your chest your back your biceps your triceps legs whatever shoulders you know and you're spending two or three hours lifting there's only so many angles that you can do again before you start repeating your over training back it down and see how the results will you know kind of boost up and you'll see your strength gain you'll see leaner you'll see stronger try it stay in tune stay informed stay motivated bye